Hi guys, it's Ben here with another Liverpool transfer update as the Reds look to sign Naby Keita, Virgil van Dijk, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Andrew Robertson. Let's go through the latest on all of those players. So let's start with Naby Keita. This is the one out of the two big deals, him and Van Dijk, that looks to be progressing the quickest. It was of course reported last week that the Reds had had a £57 million bid turned down by Red Bull Leipzig. Those reports were pretty much immediately followed up by more news that we were going to put in a new bid this week. And now Gabriel Marcotti, who I cited in a previous video, he's a respectable uh, ESPN and Times journalist, says that there is a valuation that if Liverpool meet, the club will be forced to sell no matter what Ralph Ragnick of Leipzig says. Ragnick is of course their sporting director who has ruled out this transfer. Chris Williams who writes for This Is Anfield who has good sources also says that there is an opinion that this deal will get done if Liverpool do improve that £57 million offer. And Graham Kelly, the ITK from Twitter, the famous Graham Kelly who has really rose to prominence this transfer window more so than previous ones it seems. You can question his reliability all you want but he doesn't make things up, he does have sources and he says that this is already done and all of this back and forth is just to create a story that Leipzig are doing their best to keep the player. Whether you believe that or not is down to you, that's just what Graham Kelly's putting out there. The bookies have slashed the odds on him to join Liverpool to 1-6 to six now so it's even shorter than it was before. All signs are pointing to this transfer being completed quite soon. Amadou Makaji, the Ghanaian journalist, said the other day that Man City have also been interested in Keita and they contacted his representatives but they were only told that he wanted to move to Liverpool. Inter Milan are also said to be keen but his heart, it seemed, is set on working with Jurgen Klopp. Sadio Mane, who shares the same agency as Keita, is said to have convinced him that he settled in really quickly on Merseyside side and that he'd be able to do the same too. I imagine there'll be more news early next week on this one. I think it is pretty much there. I think Liverpool will, they are willing to improve on their first offer and if it isn't already done, then I think it will be done quite soon. Paul Joyce has said that we will sanction 18 million euros bid. I think that's exactly what we will do or lower than that, whatever. I think Leipzig have come to terms with the fact that they're going to have to sell this player before he kicks up a fuss. And I must say, after a terrible start to this summer with the Van Dijk saga, I think Liverpool have really redeemed themselves with this one. This one looks very close and I'll be extremely surprised if Naby Keita is not Liverpool's new number eight this season. As for Virgil van Dijk, the Southampton defender has joined the Saints on their pre-season tour of Austria, which they flew out to last week. He wasn't deemed ready to take part in their first pre-season friendly, despite what he put on Instagram shortly afterwards, stating that he was fully fit and he was looking forward to achieving big things, dot, 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 dot. People are reading between the lines. There's been other things on social media as well with his mates and stuff that just suggest that he really doesn't want to be at Southampton next season. Liverpool are obviously the favourites to sign in. Everton have been named a few other clubs, but we've all known that he only wants Liverpool. There have been some rumours going around social media this weekend that Southampton wants £75 million for him. Whether this is similar to the Cater situation and they're just trying to look like they're standing firm, I don't know. There is a growing confidence among Liverpool fans though that this will get done. We haven't had much fresh concrete news as of late. I guess that will start to accelerate after we get Cater through the door. But this one does seem to be moving in a good direction. One that's perhaps not going Liverpool's way is Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Arsene Wenger has confirmed that the midfielder will stay at the Emirates this season, saying that he 100% expects him to stay put despite all the speculation. He has of course refused a new contract and reports all summer have indicated that he's keen on working with Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool, but this one looks like it's going to go right to the wire. Arsenal would rather keep him there and let him run his contract down, which runs out next summer, than sell him to Liverpool for £25 million. And finally, as far as incomings are concerned, and I do think there will only be four more this summer, uh, Andrew Robertson looks like he's set to join from Hull City for £8 million. This one's looked pretty much done for a long time, no real complications, Hull knew they had to sell, they've just been relegated. So it's going to be Robertson in and Moreno out at Anfield. Hull reportedly want Ryan Kent to go the other way in a loan move. He impressed at Tranmere the other night, probably not quite ready for the first team, so perhaps a loan move to Hull would be a good step up for him in terms of where he's been playing on loan before. Uh, but he's not quite ready for the Reds. I think that move we're doing good. According to the Mirror, Daniel Sturridge has turned down the chance to join Beijing in the Chinese Super League. Just flat out told them he wasn't interested. Daniel Sturridge looks like he's going to stay at Liverpool this summer. There were links to PSG and West Ham earlier on in the close season, but the Reds aren't going to sign a striker and it doesn't look like they're going to sell one either. One player that is leaving though is Lucas Leiva. What a servant he's been for Liverpool 10 years at the club. Can't say a bad word about him. I can't praise him enough for how he's turned his Anfield career around after getting booed at the start and really not performing under Rafa Benitez to becoming one of our most important players around five, six years ago before the injury at Chelsea. And he's just been a bit of a legend ever since then. He's filled in at centre-back and sent him in when he's been needed. He's been unselfish, stick around even though he hasn't been first choice. 
He's off to Lazio for £5 million. Gianluca Di Marzio says that's done. What a shame we didn't get a testimonial. What a shame we didn't get to say goodbye properly. Hopefully we do get a chance to give him a proper send-off at some point before he retires. Now in the comments and on Instagram and my other social medias, a lot of you have been saying to me, we're not going to sign Cater, we're not going to sign Van Dijk, we need to move on. Leave a comment now with whether your stance has changed. There's a lot more positivity around Liverpool at the moment with the Van Dijk and Cater situations. Has your stance changed? Do you think they will both be a Liverpool player this season? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for all this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials. It's Ben Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.